Hi, my name is Max Wolf um, from the Department of Biomedical Informatics at Harvard Medical School. I'm going to be talking about the uh, ob objective oriented evaluation uh, of our biomedical informatics master's program. Um, overall, the goal of this evaluation is to streamline the course content with what we want to cover in our program, to make sure that there are missing objectives that we wanted to cover and that none of the courses are being redundant in the material that they teach. Our program specifically uh, is a two to three semester program with two accelerated tracks, one for clinical informatics and one for biomedical informatics, represented in this first panel. Um, but this kind of process can apply to any program um, that you may be running as well. In order to start this process, we want to brainstorm about the program scope. The first few questions here help set up the audience of the program, so the students. What kind of careers would they be interested in? What topics should be emphasized? And what is the student background as, as they're coming in? Uh, depending on what they want to pursue and the more expert your incoming students are, the different kinds of material you may want to focus. And uh, the two questions over here at the end help you figure out exactly what you want to achieve within your program and depending on your program length, uh, how much of that can actually fit into the time that you're willing to spend with these students. The next step is to organize the topics and the objectives together. So what we have here is biomedical informatics topics and biomedical informatics objectives. Uh, the topics are things that you actually want to cover with the program, big ideas like programming or a domain knowledge. Uh, whereas the objectives are something that can be used to evaluate the students, their learning goals to see that the students are actually accomplishing and having an understanding of uh, the topics that you're covering in your program. And uh, this interplay that we had between the objectives and the topics uh, help us generate two things. The first uh, is a mind map, a linking of all of the different topics and objectives with the program that I will get to in a second, uh, and a list of competencies that we can then use for the evaluation that I will talk about soon as well. Uh, the mind map was used, was made with MindMeister software and was used to really organize the program as a whole. So over here, you can see that in our program, we have six main domains, computation, domain knowledge, professional development, ethics, uh, analysis of data, and the data itself. And within uh, these goals, the topics, the subtopics, and further subdivisions can be uh, organized and led down to a list of competencies. Uh, this is the hardest part because this is what allows you to do the evaluation later on and then ask your faculty and the students for how well your program is doing. So here's an example of the mind map for the computation category. Uh, with these blue uh, blocks uh, as the competencies here. So again, the competencies should have the following properties. They should be relatively few in number so that they can be used for evaluation. They should be specific enough that a faculty member teaching a course can look at this competency and say, yes, I'm definitely teaching this in my course. And finally, they should be general enough that all of the course content in all of the different subject areas should be covered by at least one competency. So what we did uh, with our program is to have a certain broad competency, which could then be subdivided further into different class objectives that are covering that competency. And you can go about as detailed as you want with this organization, but the competencies are the key part that gets used in the evaluation. Uh, the next step is using these competencies to evaluate the courses. 
So what we did is give uh, a survey to our faculty that had the entire competency list, um, special competencies that we thought applied to their courses were subselected to make it slightly easier for the faculty to go through all the different topics. Uh, they were asked to rate each competency on a scale of one to five. A uh, five meant that the course competency is very important in their course, it's a foundational idea, whereas uh, a one meant that they mentioned that competency in passing, but it is not uh, very deeply covered in the course. So this allowed us to look at all of the courses at once and say, okay, these objectives up here are very well represented, uh, but these objectives that we wanted to cover in the program are not represented in any of the courses. So this tells us that there are certain things that we want to try and add to the classes to make sure that the program goals are being met. Finally, with this evaluation, there's several more things that we could do. For example, we could take each individual course and see how they map uh, using the competencies to the original six domains that we have. So this gives students a chance to see that if they want to take an elective that's based on, uh, that helps them with professional development, this can, they can use this to uh, select a course that fits their needs. Uh, also, we could further compare, uh, ask the students the same kind of survey that we ask the faculty, and that'll get us a measure of whether the students are actually learning the content that the faculty are teaching. And these competencies can be used as a key to make that comparison. Thank you for listening to my presentation.